All right, Mariah, thank you. Well, thank goodness it's not the French maid. Uh, what are you going with? I have all my clothes on. No, I'm adult film star Richard Pounds. All right, well, welcome to the show. Thanks for having Mr. me. Mr. Richard, Teddy as well, welcome to the show. Thank you. I'm just the guy that won last week. Your mm. tape's not working too well. No, Jack. your tape's not working too well. I'll tell you what else is not working too well are some of the teams out there that we thought were going to be pretty good. Well, let me dip into the bucket I, right here. Uh, first of all, the tape, uh, this is obviously for you. I need uh, that. Because Teddy is so well behaved, he gets the Hershey's cookies and cream. Mm -hmm. That a boy. And I got this piece of paper with some football teams on it. Let's start with you, Teddy. The Bolts, Pittsburgh, and Cleveland. What can you tell us about those three teams? Well, we're going with the Halloween theme. Let's talk about scary teams to bet on, including the Bolts. What I don't want, favorites, especially bigger favorites, with a bad defense. L.A., the talent's there. The numbers haven't been there, and they're laying more than a touchdown this week against Chicago. That's a scary team to bet. Scary team to bet on underdogs with a bad offense. New Orleans, Pittsburgh, Green Bay. If you can't get to 21, you can't come through the back door. So when those teams fall behind, they struggle to come back. And of course, the inconsistent teams, Washington, LA, Cleveland, one week good, one week bad. Those teams can be scary to bet on as well. It's definitely worth noting. Over the last two years, only eight teams finished better than 10 and 7 against the spread, and only nine teams finished worse than 7 and 10 against the spread. The majority of the league swings back to the middle at some point during the season. All right, and for you, um, Richard, uh, Detroit and Miami. How what you are you talking? I'm, I'm, I'm doing all right. How are you? I'll tell you. I'll tell you how everybody else is doing. I felt like Coleman. That thing. The public's not doing well because last week the top seven teams that the public placed bets on all did not cover the number. That's a bad start for them. And a poster child of that would be what we got with Detroit and with Miami, who had done nothing but improve every week. People felt like they might be ready to take that next step, get up there with Kansas City and Philadelphia and others. Mm -hmm. What we saw were it's kind of a recheck, gut check time as they both got rolled up. Uh, Detroit, not good against Baltimore. Miami, by the way, this is not real. All right, Baltimore. <laughs> you can't tell at all. And Miami loses uh, loses to Philadelphia really bad. So you got both those teams that we thought might be taking that next step. Now they are going to have to reconsider where they are, as is the general public, where they're, where they're putting their money. Does that mustache give you more prognosticating powers? You know, it allows me to move it around, honestly. I mean, I can, I can do this. I can, I, look at this. Uh, oh, wow. Now, now, now you got a goatee. Now you look like Abe Lincoln. Now we went I'm from the, Andy Reid to the anti-Andy Reid. I'm the head of a biker gang right now. Wow. How you doing? What's the name of that uh, gang? It's not pretty. <laughs> right? You're, you're tough initiation. So, yeah, Halloween's over here because we're ready to make some money as we get into the segment two and three. And it's But the general public having to take a redo mm -hmm. on what they've been putting their money on because the last couple of Sundays, not good for uh, the general public place. I'm afraid this thing's going to crawl off. I want All my right. money back, by the way. Thank you.